Well, hello class. Uh, this is the second video I'll post for the first week of LDRS, or I guess PRLD, sorry, 311. Hey, I got a couple of questions from folks. Um, they're uh, just kind of figuring out this whole class online, what's expected and so forth. Um, I wanted to say a couple of things. This will be a pretty brief video. I don't have a ton to go over because I'm going I'm to share more on Monday when our next week starts. But let me just say a couple of things. If you are getting caught up, right, first week, uh, books came a little bit late, you're kind of navigating things, figuring it all out, don't worry, okay? You won't be docked points if you don't get things turned in exactly on time. Um, I'm going to give you uh, three extra days, okay? So if you have things that are not fully complete by the first week or the first module, the first unit of this course, I'll give you until Wednesday of uh, at midnight of next week to get everything caught up. But after that, everything, starting Monday of this next week, this next unit, everything has to be on time or you won't get credit, okay? Uh, I'm not going to accept late assignments. Um, you know, I've got a number of responses. People saying, life's, you know, life's happening. Great. Good. But this isn't a, I'll turn things in when I want to. This is a turn things in when things are due. Okay. So if you're late, like I said, uh, you have until Wednesday of next week to get caught up. After that, if things are not turned in on time, I won't accept them. Okay. So it's really important that you make sure uh, that you are on point, on track with when the due dates are. Okay. So People say, wait a second, I'm not sure what's due when. What you need to focus on is only, please hear me, only what's due in the unit or the module or the week, however you want to look at it, that we are currently in. So right now we are in unit one. You only need to focus on unit one. If the due dates, you know, the, well, that's off. What you need to focus on is unit one. That's it. Okay. Unit one in, in, in Canvas is going to correspond with unit one or week one in the syllabus. Okay, it's a one for one correlation. So if you see in the syllabus, it's due in the course. And if you see in the course, it's due according to what the syllabus says. Okay, really important. I've had some students ask, can I work ahead? You can. However, I wouldn't advise it. I wouldn't advise it because I know that in a tricky class like this, without there being a, you know, a face to face encounter opportunity for me as the instructor and you as the student to connect in person, it can be a bit confusing as far as what's due when, and you might lose, you know, focus of, of what's supposed to be submitted by a certain date and so forth, okay? So you can, but I would encourage you just to focus on what's what's actually at hand right now, and that's the first unit for this week, and then, of course, the next unit is we, unit two, and as each corresponding week moves on, the units therein as well, okay? So, so just focus on the unit at hand. The other thing I would mention is... Um, I, I, please reread the syllabus. Um, the syllabus is very, ex, it's specific, it's explicit, everything you need to know is in there. Um, and if you haven't heard from me on certain things yet, because we've only had less than one full week in class, I'm thinking about it, we've only been in class for six days, um, not even six full days at that, um, you don't probably need to know about it, okay? So what I want to encourage you is um, online communication is tricky. Electronic communication, email is tricky, right? Texts are tricky. That's why we have emoji these days and smiley faces and winky eyes and all those different things because we never can fully uh, understand, I don't think, I shouldn't say never, we, we oftentimes cannot fully understand what the person that's sending us a message is trying to say. So be really careful how you communicate, okay? So you should expect from me that I will respect you as the student and in return, or I guess simultaneously, my expectation from you is that you respect me as your instructor of record for the course, okay? So be careful how you communicate things. I had a student one time, end of the semester, really briefly, you know, it was a longer email, but basically the essence of what was communicated was, um, hey, it would have been really nice if you'd given us more feedback. Why don't you just stick that away uh, for future reference? And I thought, man, that is, that is first of all, uh, <laughs> that's not okay, that's, that's not the most helpful comment. Uh, it's also not the most respectful comment. Why don't you just stick that away for the future, right? So, um, and I, you know, I thought about a number of things I could have said in response, but I, my response was, um, thanks for the feedback. Um, but I, I, I did not feel that in the student-faculty relationship, that was a respectful way for them to communicate to me because, it, well, it wasn't a respectful way for them to communicate with me. One of the things that you should know about my feedback is I will give you as much feedback as I believe you need to know in order to understand why you got the grade that you received. If you would like more feedback, okay, please hear me on this, I'm happy to provide it. But what I have found in my many, many years of teaching 
is that I've spent um, hours upon hours grading papers and most I would say 95 to 98 percent of students could care less what I have to say they just want the grade. If you want to know more as far as why you got the grade that you received, I'm happy to provide it, but you've got to ask for it. And I would ask that you ask respectfully, right? I think that's fair to expect. Um, and I'm, I will respectfully give you the feedback that you need. Um, but I, what I do offer you will be enough to understand why you got the grade that you received. If you didn't do the assignment right, you're not going to get full credit, right? If your paper is, you know, riddled with uh, uh, misspelled words and grammatically incorrect sentence structures and so forth, um, I'm not going to, you know, correct every single issue that I find in the paper, but I will at the end of the paper tell you, hey, you've got a lot of, you know, grammar errors or spelling errors or something like that. And if you'd like to know exactly where those errors are, I'm happy to provide them, okay? Um, the other side of that is if you think that you deserve a better grade than what you've get, been given, and you ask me to review the paper or the assignment, and I review it, I have the right to actually reduce your grade because I may have missed some of the mistakes that were actually embedded in the paper that I didn't catch the first time, okay? So it's really kind of a, it's up to you, um, but just know that um, if you would like more feedback, I'm always happy to provide, I just need you to ask, okay? The last thing I'll say on this um, is, uh, so a, a num I shouldn't say a number, I'm teaching a number of classes right now and I've heard from a number of students that there's some confusion. Um, there's, you know, I've, I've commented on the due dates and so forth already. Um, but one of the things that I really do want you to get a feel for in this class is, and I, I, I want to think how I would say this, but, but, but almost an empathetic, an empathy for students or for people that you might be working with from a leadership standpoint, right? This is a leadership class values and virtues. I'm going to comment on an article um, that um, I, I noticed over the weekend, this weekend, about um, kind of a, a resurrection or a re... I don't know what the exact word it was. Basically like a, a reinvigoration of civic virtue and the importance thereof. You know, as, you, as leaders, we're leading people. A lot of the people that we lead are dealing with a lot of emotions, a lot of questions, a lot of potentially anxiety, they're not really sure what's happening. And so as we enter into this first week of class, I'm pretty vague in some specifics in the course because I want us to have an experience similar to what some of the people that we may end up leading are going to experience so that we can be all the more aware, having gone through just a, just a smidge of what they're experiencing, so that we have an additional um, kind of dose of empathy and understanding what, what they're experiencing as we lead them, right? They need to know explicit things, right? I've given you a syllabus that's very clear. I've given you a course that's very clear. However, it's a new environment, right? Maybe your whole program has been online. Maybe a part of your minor has been online. But this is a new class with a new instructor. Things are done in a different new way, and so there's some confusion. So I've given you what you need to know, but even then, uh, you know, and I get into this whole respect thing and all those different conversations, even though I have given you what I believe you need to know, you don't know all of that. And so you're going to start asking questions, right? Um, and so I want us to, you know, again, from a, this mutual respect element, uh, reality, from uh, I want us to develop trust and rapport with each other. I want you to trust that what I offer you is exactly what you need to know for that specific moment. And when you need to know more about future assignments, I'll offer that up to you. Um, again, this is only, we're six, not even six full days in, so you've not gotten the whole picture yet. So you've got to be willing to trust me that I'm going to help you navigate these kind of confusing, if you will, uh, course waters. Um, and I've got to trust that you're going to do what I'm expecting you in the class. All right. So it's really kind of a mutual, not just respect, but mutual trust that's happening in this course as well. And, and my hope would be that as you kind of, you know, get done with your program, you realize that this whole idea of values and virtues, which can be sometimes confusing, I'm not really sure what to make of it, how does that work in the public square and so forth from a common good standpoint, it's going to help you wrestle through potentially how you then respond to other people in this space, given some of the experiences that you've been able to have, even in a small eight-week class like this, all right? So, so far what I've seen is great. Keep up the good work. If you have questions, continue to send them my direction. Um, I've tried to get back to you as quickly as I could. Um, a lot of great questions that I'm grateful for. And we'll continue to do this back and forth, back and forth. You ask questions, I give answers and so forth. I'll do videos, I'll grade assignments, I'll give you feedback when necessary. 
Um, if you have questions as far as wanting more feedback, like I said, just ask. We'll do it respectfully. I think we'll have a great time for the rest of the course. And I have a, you know, a feeling, a strong feeling, a strong sneaking suspicion that when you're done with this class, um, it'll give you some, some things to really think deeply about. This idea of you are what you love. That's an interesting take, right? And kind of the way he unpacks a little bit of this thinking. You know, you, you act in the way that you think and you are how you think and so forth. And I think there's truth to that. Smith, is he's a brilliant, brilliant mind doing some incredible work out at Calvin College. And then David Brooks with his great book, The Road to, to Character. Um, I think it's just a nice little blend of helping you think. There will be some additional readings, and I'll talk more about that in my video probably this this either this week or upcoming weeks. Um, but again, always feel free to reach out. If you have questions, I'm always available to answer. Um, it might take me a little bit to get back to you, but I try and be very responsive. Um, and like I said, uh, you have a couple of extra days to get caught up by Wednesday, but after that, everything is due when it is assigned, um, or else we'll get too far behind and it won't actually help you at all. All right? So if I can help in any way, feel free. Let me know. Reach out. Always happy to do that. Hope you're having a great weekend. Uh, finish this first unit strong. And remember, focus on just what's at hand right now. Okay? Just unit one. And then next week, unit two, and so forth. Okay? And before you know it, the term will be over. You'll be one close uh, class closer to graduation. And we'll call it a day. All right? Hope you're having a great weekend. Uh, really enjoying what's happening so far. Keep up the great work. And like I said, let me know how I can best support you and what questions you have so I can answer them as quickly as possible. All right. We'll see you online.